Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to this video. So after yesterday, I left off in my last video with 81 attack, which I got from semi AFK and the Hellhounds. I've basically decided to go back there today. I didn't manage to have the time to play again last night after the video that I made, and that's pretty much just because a, I was busy, and B, I had a massive headache, so glaring at the screen wasn't exactly helping. But today, I went back to the Hellhounds and pretty much did the same sort of routine as yesterday, and you know, got my dailies done in between, like going there. I like, had a little bit of a break and stuff like that. So what I've done is I've looked up all of the um, sort of challenges that I've had, basically stacking up over the last week or so, and I've pretty much just completed three of them today. My actual challenge for today was to make 336 new shield bows. So really, really similar to yesterday's, but obviously with shield bows instead of short bows so that didn't take long again like I you know did it yesterday did exactly the same thing brought up the logs carved it and then strung it after for a little bit more xp I did actually manage to level up in fletching I did actually press record but after I pressed it I didn't actually realize that it wasn't actually capturing runescape it was actually capturing a different tab that I'd opened which was really frustrating but I leveled up to 73 in fletching doing this task so that's pretty good but nonetheless obviously you know a level is a level so that's pretty awesome the same rewards came back from doing this in terms of xp I got another 60k bundle which which is really awesome as well as I think 6k in coins, a treasure hunter key like normal and then 17 rune ore which was worth 179k so again a pretty decent reward from that one. Another challenge that I had was to mine 20 mithril ores. Now the location for this that I decided to use was the mining area in Alcarid because obviously there's three spots there that you can use and they take about three minutes per each one to respawn back so in instead of like changing locations I just ended up hopping worlds each time. It just got it done a lot quicker and a bit more interesting to complete as well. So from this one I didn't actually get too great of a reward because it was it just I think it's because it's a lower level but I only got 14.9k mining XP which sounds really small but it actually did level me up to 57 so obviously that's why it's a smaller amount because it's a smaller level but it leveled me up nonetheless. I also got again another treasure hunter key and a mystery bag which contained 2k in coins and 7 mahogany planks so not amazing like I said but I got a level out of it so it's better than nothing and obviously a little bit is better than nothing anyway. The final challenge that I decided to do was to bake 96 pita breads. I didn't buy all the supplies and make the dough that way because pretty much the XP isn't exactly that great so I just thought that I'd buy the dough as it was from the Grand Exchange. It took like a lot of time to actually come through, which is why it actually took me quite a long time to do this challenge because it's a really simple one, but they weren't coming through for the price that I put in, so I had to wait a little while for that to come in just so I didn't exactly lose a lot of money. So basically, I purely did this for the rewards at the end because, like I said, the XP isn't that great, but the rewards at the end, you know, just to see what I got. So when I completed it and handed it in, the rewards from this one were like normal with the treasure key again, and then I actually got 51.6k in experience, which gave me not one level but two, which is really awesome because obviously 2 is better than 1 and 51.6k in XP I can't really complain about and obviously in the bag I did get 4.6k in coins which isn't great again but better than nothing and 5 grimy dwarf weeds which are worth just over 57k so again not really too bad of a reward if you guys obviously don't want me to keep recording my dailies that I'm doing and uploading them then obviously do let me know I just think it's a way you know it can make each video a little bit longer it gives me something to show you guys each day because obviously each day is a different challenge and I've got some that are stacked up so I can always just go through them make a little video for it just because it gives me something to do I guess but obviously like I said if you don't want me to do it let me know but I like doing it. it gives me a little bit of content for each day or each video that I make but it's up to you guys of course just let me know before I move on to the attack experience I just thought that I would mention that I am starting up now fletching because I mentioned in the last video that I would do it but obviously I haven't exactly started but I started it today I've basically brought up 10,000 of the U shield bows the unfinished ones and also the bowstrings I'm basically this is my new bank standing skill to 99 because obviously I just did fire making now I'm doing this one I'm currently level 74 and I'm making like I said U shield bows up until level 80 so it'll take a little bit of time but it's just something to do when I'm not in the mood for combat just want to chill out and skill so you know like I said I'm currently level 74 because I did just manage to level up again today which is pretty cool because that's two levels for fletching tick off the list but onto the final part of the video where we have my attack leveling so you know like I mentioned at the beginning of the video I didn't really go training at all last night but after doing my dailies and that I went back to hellhounds for a bit and then I thought I'd go for a bit of a change of scenery and head over to the deadly red spiders because you guys keep telling me to go there and I've been there before it was pretty packed last time I went there with bots and it kind of sucks but I actually went there today there's actually no bots it was really awesome there was no one there I think one person showed up in the whole time I was there and then they left pretty shortly so it wasn't exactly an issue they are slightly better xp than the um, hellhounds the only thing that sort of it just it's a bit of a drawback for me personally is the fact that you are required to constantly collect each one you kill and because they're so 
so easy to kill, you know, it's, it's quite a lot of um, clicking, but it doesn't really matter because it's a bit more extra XP for my constitution and attack, obviously, so that wasn't too bad, I can't really complain about that. But yeah, here I did actually manage to level up to 82 attack, so you know I'm getting there. Um, for those of you guys who are unaware, I'm aiming for level 90 because then I can use Drygores, and the plan is once I get to level 90, once I buy the Drygores, and you know, because hopefully I'll have enough money um, in, obviously, my bank in terms of loot and stuff like that to afford them, plus the money I've already got now. And with that, I will be able to tackle some high level monsters because obviously I'll have a better attack rate and basically get back into the routine of bossing again because I had so much fun when I went bossing with you guys before. It was so much fun. Um, obviously, you guys can get interactive and, you know, it's just a lot of fun to obviously communicate with you guys and just meet new people, go bossing, team up, all that good stuff. It was really fun. And possibly I could get some streams going again fairly soon because I did that before and you guys seem to like that. So, fingers crossed if I get them done, um, I can do hopefully once I've hired up a few more combat levels. So, yeah, the overall progress today wasn't too bad. I gained in total six levels in four different skills which is pretty awesome and obviously I got some pretty decent rewards again in terms of their money value and also I managed to get a nice stack so far of charms which I've obviously got from Hellhounds. I haven't obviously got all the ones in my bank from them so far but a lot of them are from them, over half of them I would think. So not too bad at all and hopefully when I stack them all up, I'm going to stack them up for a bit longer before I do summoning just because I think it's more of an easier and more productive way to do it. But yeah, also I've noticed a few guys asking on the basically in the comments from my last video where I get the text the, the sort of like wham and all them sort of things that come up on the screen whenever I attack things at certain points and pretty much this is a superhero pack or something like that that I got from the Solomon store when I had a couple of um, rune coins left over so I thought I'd get it I just think it looks pretty cool the colors and that they just it's just different so I thought I'd get it and I kind of like it but yeah that is all from me today guys hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow I wasn't really supposed to upload today and um, this was supposed to be my video for tomorrow but nonetheless fingers crossed there'll be a video I'm not too sure on what yet I'm going out about one o'clock so I'm gonna have to think of something and do that pretty fast in the morning but whatever day I next upload I shall see you guys then thank you so much for watching like always subscribe like comment all that good stuff and yeah have a good one and I'll see you guys later